In this video, we'll talk about two objects onto a double inclined plane. So we have a car on an inclined plane which is connected to a mass on the other side on the other inclined plane. And the goal is to make this object or this car descend at a constant speed. And we also applying the brake onto the car as well. So we need to find out what is the braking average braking force to make this car descend at a constant speed. Okay. So let's do it. We call this as a theta. So the given value R, this mass is 1700 kilogram and this mass which is connected to the car is 1500 kilogram angle is 30 degree and this is 20 degree we call this angle theta and this angle alpha before we solve this problem or before we talk about anything first thing we need to do is draw the free body diagram so let's draw the free body diagram so we have the car here, the weight on, of the car is vertically downward. The gravity force is always downward, M1G. And we're going to resolve this into two components. The one parallel to the inclined plane and the other perpendicular to the inclined plane. The, as this angle is theta, this angle will also be the theta. So perpendicular to the component as this angle is theta will be M1G cosine theta. And parallel to the inclined plane, it will be M1G sine theta. And the other force that is acting onto the car is the normal force. The normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. And as we applying the brake, brake onto the car, the braking force is all also opposite to the motion, which is along this way, the braking force. So, the, so we have resolved all the forces here, draw the, in this free body diagram. Let's draw the free body diagram of the mass as well exactly the same process exactly the same process the first thing is the the weight the weight is downward which is m2g and again this angle is alpha so is this angle also alpha and this component will be m2g cosine alpha and parallel to the surface would be m2g sine alpha and we do not need this force anymore because we already have resolved this into two components. And the normal force is now N2 onto the surface. We do not know N2. Our goal is to make this descend at a constant speed. So we need to write down all the forces acting onto the car, onto this car here. So what are the total forces acting onto the car? along the direction of the inclined plane. So the first force is M1G sine theta, which is acting downwards on the slope, this force. And the second force is FB, which is the braking force. And there is an additional force, which is coming from this mass here. This mass is also trying to pull the, uh, the car or this one is just stopping or helping to descend the car at a constant speed or it's, it's another force. So what is the force here? This force, this for this car is connected to the mass by this string here, by this rope here. And along this direction, this is M2G sine alpha. So the force acting onto the car or along in this direction is M2G sine alpha. 
so this is along this direction so the total force onto the car is m1g sine theta minus the braking force and minus m2g sine alpha the negative sign for these two because these two are in opposite direction okay so this is this is the total force now and now as the car is descending at a constant speed the acceleration of the car is zero the acceleration means the change in this velocity and as the car is moving in a straight line with a constant speed the acceleration is zero so now by newton's second law of motion the force is equal to mass time acceleration and the acceleration is zero and now what is the total force the total force is right here m1g sine theta braking force m 2 g sine alpha and we are interested in solving fb so the braking force is now m1g sine theta minus m 2 g sine alpha so let's plug in all the values the mass m1 is given which is 1700 g values is 9.8 theta is 30 degree m2 this mass is 1500 9.8 sine 20 degree so the braking force that is required to make it to move at a or descend at a constant speed is 3300 newton okay so that's it from this video again if you have any questions write down your question in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the video thank you so much